Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and in this quick video I'm gonna show you how to increase the amount of memory used by your Adobe Premiere Pro or Adobe Photoshop. For example if you're using Windows machine you can go to your properties and then here you can see how much memory you have installed in your machine. In this machine I got 32 gigabytes. We want to make sure that Adobe Premiere can use as much memory as we have or at least the majority of the memory because it's going to make it work a lot faster. It, it can buffer a lot of information in the RAM and it's just going to perform much faster. Even if you're using SSDs, your RAM is a lot faster than SSD. So the more information you can store in the RAM will make your Adobe Premiere experience much better. So let's go ahead and start Adobe Premiere. I got it started here and I got a couple media files here. So let's just put one on the timeline. And as you can see, I got this beautiful cat right here. So this specific project doesn't require much memory, but if you do work on a bigger project that's like half an hour long, it's gonna require a lot more storage. And if you go to the task manager for that, you gotta press Control Shift Escape. And you can see that here that Adobe Premiere Pro is using 2300 megabyte of RAM right now. If you do use like a bigger files, if you're making video in 4K, you're gonna make sure that Adobe Premiere can use as much memory as you got available. And for this purpose, you just gotta go to edit, go to preferences, then go to memory. And here it shows you installed RAM, which is 32 gigabyte. And you can choose how much RAM is gonna be available for Adobe programs such as Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop, Adobe After Effects. In this case, we're using Adobe Premiere and I have allocated 20 gigabyte specifically for Adobe Premiere. So when I'm using Adobe Premiere, I wanna make sure it's allowed to use as much memory as there is. I still reserved about 12 gigabytes for other applications because usually when you're working in Adobe Premiere, you're running other programs as well. So yeah, this is it right here. You can just choose as much memory as you wanna allow the Premiere Pro to use. It's up to you. You can limit only to three gigabyte for, for the rest of applications. and give the rest to Adobe Premiere or you can go like 70% to Adobe Premiere and give 30% to the rest of the program. So I think that's sufficient. And then you just gotta press OK. And now we have everything saved. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you do, please let me know in the comment section below and click the like button. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you didn't miss new videos. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.